Hey guys, Portnaz here, back with another video. Today, we're going to be showing you how to get the LSPD Crown Vic, or the Vapid Stanier, whatever. So first, you're going to open Motorcycle Club President, open Club Challenges, go to Criminal Mischief, and um, also I should mention, you should probably have, or you need to have, at least one other person in your MC, and they have to be next to you for you to be able to start it. So once you start it, um, you gotta go around and start smacking cars. They have to be like cars that are actually moving, not just random cars sitting on the road. Um, so just drive around, go around, kick the cars, smack the cars. If you don't know how to do it, um, you can get anything um, from your weapon wheel on your motorcycle and hold X or A, whatever you're on, and hit right bumper, or R1 and L1 left bumper and um, you'll start swinging and kicking and punching and all that good stuff um, so you're just going to do this for a couple minutes um, you definitely want to get some hits in there uh, <laughs> stop hitting cars like I'm doing um, if you don't hit enough cars there's a chance that it will spawn but it spawns in faster if you start hitting cars um, so if you also if you want this to work, try and stay in the city. Don't go towards like um, Sandy Shores or Polito Bay because it'll just spawn a sheriff car, and we don't want the sheriff one. We want the Los well, Santos one. So you're gonna see on the map there's gonna be like a red badge that comes up, which like just came up for me as well. I'm gonna hit this biker here. So you wanna go drive over to him, and once you get over to him, it's just gonna be that's pretty much the end of the glitch. Um, <laughs> you get over to him, you get his car. He doesn't really retaliate since he's an unarmed cop for whatever reason. But you take his car and you can drive around with it. You just gotta lose the cops, um, which should, could should be pretty easy. After you lose them, they're and they don't really mess with you that much, and, unless you like shoot somebody. But you could like steal some cars. They won't really mind since you're on this mission. But once the mission goes away, um, then they start to get a bit angry. So we're just gonna continue to drive over to this guy. If you couldn't tell, I'm voicing over a video I already made with my boy, Josh. Uh, pro skills over here, driving up mountains. So his car's going to be right here on the road, and there it is. The Crown Vic, the Vapid Stanier. Um, now it comes in two different varieties. You can see with that one, it has that kind of light bar, where it's kind of like bulky. Um, I, I forgot what they call this one. But there's another one where the it's like oh, <laughs> there's another for, for version of the light bars where it's like flat and blocky like rectangles. I think that's called the digital one. I, I kind of like the digital one better than this one, but and you know they still both look pretty cool. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the glitch. Um, go ahead, lose the cops. You can call Lester, which I think Josh does here in a second. He's going to end up calling Lester, and then we're not going to have cops. Now, what you can do to get it repaired, since it's most definitely going to be damaged, um, what you can do is you can go to a police station on the map, any police station, except for like a sheriff station. There you go, he just called Lester there. You go, go to a police station, and if you drive near the police stations with while you're inside of this car, it's going to spawn a bunch of uh, other ones, instead of just not spawning anything or spawning the... Uh, Fort Taurus or the police interceptor. So you can, I'm open my map here. Um, I had a bunch of port of interest set for where the police stations were, but I had to re-download because you know Call of Duty Modern Warfare got the biggest update files in the world. <laughs> so take yourself down to the stations. I'm gonna show you in a second here. It's what's gonna sp start spawning the cars. I can also show you um, some of the locations, or all of the locations of police stations, just in case you don't know, or if you need to know, you can't find any. This is just one way you can do it. This is the one I suggest. There you go. You can see a bunch of cop cars in there. Don't be an idiot and drive like I am. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of Stainers, 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 Crown Vicks, Vicks, whatever you want to call them. They're all back. I'd say get the ones in the back here, so you get less chance of being caught. Me and Josh have been taking the cop cars from back here all the time we never got caught once unless somebody was like shooting beforehand but you take the car and you smash the window out to get that window fixed quotes um, you want to get unarmed out and just flick off the air just put your finger out the window that'll um, get rid of all the broken glass if you didn't already know that now we're just kinda messing around hitting each other 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much. The, oh, oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. Um, if you haven't seen my latest last video on the how to get the FIB Buffalo, you can do the same thing for that. Go to the arm wrestling spot, um, and then just drive over it until it says activities can be triggered on foot. You get, um, activate the activity while you are still in the car. Spam the right on the D-pad as you're getting out, and uh, when you get out. Um, you'll step on the thing, you run back to the arrow, wherever it is, and it should be fixed. So that's going to do it for this fucking video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you be sure to leave a like, horse. comment down below, and subscribe. Make sure you uh, show your friends. Tell your friends. Do something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. For a guy. I mean it. Uh.